My name is H.A. Goodman and I will be channeling the great and all-powerful and wise John Brennan during this segment. Former CIA Director John Brennan, who will not stand for Trump's kickatocracy. I'll be channeling him a little later. My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. Please go ahead and share my latest article in the Daily Caller, Free Julian Assange. That is below in the description section. And I have a new segment uh, on H.A. Second Amendment. It is with me shooting a very, very beautiful Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum, about like five, I think it's a five-inch barrel. And it's a, it's a it's just a beautiful firearm. Check that out. It's about 20 minutes because the uh, ammo is a lot cheaper. <laughs> uh, 357 rounds. Um, and a lot cheaper than my um, Smith & Wesson 500, 10.5-inch barrel, which I own. Um, I'm now thinking of the next gun I'm going to purchase. By the way, I'm going to start a Patreon account for... <laughs> for uh, my Second Amendment channel that will be separate from this channel just because um, it is, I plan on doing it right and I plan on shooting every day and I plan on shooting wonderful guns, firearms and enjoying and appreciating the Second Amendment every day that I can. So that will be up, that Patreon link will be up very soon for the Second Amendment. There's a Patreon link for this channel also. What do we have here? DOJ agrees to review FBI tactics in Russia probe. Yes. I shot a 1911 today, by the way. And that's only about two minutes because I didn't, I tried to, uh, I didn't have anybody with me. And it was a thrilling experience. Just beautiful. That's a beautiful firearm as well. But the experience of, and I did pretty well because I'm so used to the recoil of the uh, 500 that it's almost like when you swing a baseball bat, but you know, like the, uh, the, um, sometimes you see like major leaguers, they used to th swing like two or three at a time or whatever. And they had, they would have, they used to have the weights on um, the bats. It's kind of like that. The ninth, uh, shooting the 1911 was just absolutely amazing. And uh, I did really well, actually, really well. On Twitter, I think I'll go ahead. Um, H.A. Goodman Author is my Twitter account. On Twitter, I'll go ahead and show the, uh, the grouping on the target. DOJ Trump rich deal and expanded Russia review. This is Trump fighting back. And the reason I brought that up is because the thrill and the excitement when you're, safe, when you're safely and responsibly handling something of that power and I'm like obsessive and constantly downrange. Everything. That's just a, I left the range and this is a new range that I went to, different one. I just felt so good and alive and vibrant. And it's something that everyone should experience safely and responsibly abiding by laws and YouTube policies if you're a YouTube channel. But this is the type of thing, yes. So when you like the grouping is good and you're, you're shooting well, yes. Uh, DOJ Trump reaches deal on expanded Russia probe. This is fantastic. This is just amazing. The Hill, 11 minutes ago. President, uh, President Trump and the Department of Justice DOJ on Monday reached an agreement to allow the Inspector General to investigate conservative claims of FBI wrongdoing in the Russia probe, diffusing, at least for now, a burgeoning crisis between Trump and senior law enforcement officials. Do you know who are those senior law enforce enforcement officials who um, are are on a in some kind of crisis with Trump, uh, they can go, um, let's see, I don't want to be too rude. They can go hang out with Hillary Clinton. Okay, you, you, that's worse than what I was about to say. Based on the meeting with the president, the Department of Justice has asked the Inspector General to expand its current investigation to include any irregularities with the Federal Bureau of Investigations or the Department of Justice tactics, co tactics concerning the Trump campaign. Well, you mean... Um, Loretta Lynch meeting with Bill Clinton to speak about golf, Brexit, and grandchildren. Let's get her to Congress again. Now that we know that Peter Straw talked about an insurance policy, does she, does she know anything about an insurance policy? 
Does Loretta Lynch know anything about Bruce and Eliora? What about the Steele dossier? Does she, did she learn about the Steele dossier? These are all these issues. Did she know that Hillary Clinton purchased the Steele dossier? Did she know that Anthony Weiner had, had classified intelligence? Not on his Weiner, but on his laptop. What about Bruce and Eliora? What about Peter Strzok? What about the 13 lawyers on Mueller's team that are all Democrats, many of whom gave money to the Democratic Party and Clinton's campaign? That's like a side note. What about James Comey's role in, well, number one, lying about exonerating Clinton before her interview with Peter Strzok, but also the fact that Michael Flynn never lied. James Comey, Andrew McCabe, they both are on record as saying Flynn never lied. Comey changes his story every two seconds, but okay. What about um, the drunken conversation with Papadopoulos? Why don't we, why, have we had a Papadopoulos um, testimony hearing in Congress? He lied to investigators about what? The only thing uh, uh, Mueller has is, oh, you lied to the FBI. Well, that, that doesn't mean that, there's no evidence that the, the Russians hacked the DNC. Why would they hack the DNC? to let everybody know how dishonest Hillary Clinton was. We already knew that. We didn't need Russia to let us know that Hillary Clinton was corrupt and dishonest. But I'll read you. The Justice Department has already made the referral to Inspector General Michael Horowitz on Sunday in an apparent effort to ratchet down tensions. Look, everybody knows what's going on. And it, it, at this point right now, if you are a functioning um, person who is not brainwashed by liberal media or... I come from like the progressive world or the liberal world before that. And I can tell you that there's a tremendous amount of just groupthink and this almost, you know, maniacal allegiance. Like today, for example, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna join the NRA today, which I will, either today or tomorrow. And, and I'll, I'll, I'm also going to join Gun Owners of America. I believe that's the name of the organization. And I'll join some other um, second rights, um, uh, ad, second, uh, gun, gun rights organizations and Second Amendment advocates, organizations that advocate the Second Amendment. Um, I really feel passionately about this, and I'll debate anybody. I'll, I'll win the debate. <laughs> there's really no, there's no logical or rational argument what is so oh yeah you know you you don't want to clip with too many rounds okay uh if the person is unopposed do you know how easy it is now that i'm getting into firearms do you know how easy it is to load a magazine it's not easy to shoot but if you're unopposed if you go in god forbid if an insane person goes goes in god forbid into a school unopposed now we have resource uh, officers who are taking out or uh, stopping active shooters. Thank God. But you go in unopposed anywhere. Sorry, you need... I, I have a debate with one of my buddies. Go ahead and do take, give it your best shot. Gun control legislation, whatever. But until then, and, and it's, it won't work anyway because there are cities with handgun bans where handguns are the leading cause of homicides. But... And what is it, London just recently surpassed um, New York in terms of murder rate, and people are dying from getting stabbed. But the issue is, well, one issue is that you're not going to stop an insane person from either buying meth or cocaine or engaging in any illegal activity. They're, not, they're breaking the law for a reason. Gun-free zones don't protect people from insane madmen who don't care about gun-free zones. Anyway, I can go on forever. If, if, you, if, if there's no security in this day and age to protect our most vital, most important, most precious um, you know, children and, and, and young people, I don't know what to tell you. 
you need to protect schools, not with Nancy Pelosi's legislation or Chuck Schumer or, um, you know, Chelsea Handler or Alyssa Milano or everybody's like, we have this has to stop. Yeah, no one cares. The next copycat insane killer is not going to really give a crap about the pontification and all the, um, the moral grandstanding. You need to stop these people. By having a resource officer and I think that there are proposals for veterans to protect schools and other locations there are veterans who right now need work and who have the skills to go ahead and protect people they protected us overseas they should be able to protect us here at home so I'll debate anybody and it won't won't even be uh, pretty it, it'll be I'll easily defeat anyone in a, in a debate regarding this um, the more I learn, the more I enjoy, the more I appreciate, the more I learn about safety, and the more I learn about just the, the act of using a firearm, the more I realize that gun control legislation only hurts, only hurts law-abiding citizens. But anyway, um, the DOJ nowadays, uh, now, the, the DOJ is, the DOJ is going to, Abide by Trump's demand. Let's just see. The Justice Department has already made the referral to Inspector General Michael Horowitz on Sunday in an apparent attempt to ratchet down tensions. But the White House also announced that J Chief of Staff John Kelly will immediately set up a meeting with Trump allies on Capitol Hill to review the classified materials that has sparked the standoff. Oh, <laughs> Do you know what this means? First of all, Trump has already been briefed, almost certainly, on all of this stuff. But the White House also, or, he, or he's seeing the classified material. He can declassify all this material. There's, there's calls for him to declassify everything right away. Let the American people see this setup, how Comey framed him, an incoming president. But the White House also announced that Chief of Staff John Kelly will immediately set up a meeting with Trump allies on Capitol Hill to review the classified materials that had sparked the standoff. They're going to review the information, and they're going to, to find out. Well, they already know now there's, there was an FBI informant, a source, a spy, Stefan Halper. Um, all of these ridiculous things. They use the Steele dossier. BuzzFeed is getting sued, uh, and they're suing the DNC. And, oh, by the way, John Brennan is like, You will bear ultimate responsibility. Where, where's John Brennan's tweets? This is fantastic. John Brennan is almost as amusing as James Comey. Actually, he's more amu amusing. And he's almost as amusing as J.F. Sessions. Mr. President. Mr. President. Um, John. John O'Brennan. John Brennan is an old school CIA man. He is not to be trifled with. He has a fantastic Twitter account. Very, very up to date with everything. <laughs> he's, he's quoting Cicero. This guy's an idiot. Oh. Really? Okay. I love this. Is this a parody account? Oh my god. Alright, I'm not going to get into too much, but this is... This is John O'Brennan. Senator McConnell and Speaker Ryan, if Mr. Trump continues along this disastrous path, you will bear major responsibility for the harm done to our democracy. You do a great disservice to our nation and the Republican Party if you continue to enable Mr. Trump's self-serving actions. This guy is hilarious. Can you imagine, like, him trying to go ahead and frame Trump now, after everything's outed? Like, let's say Sally Yates calls him. You know, <laughs> it's like, Hello? Hello, Sally, how are you? This is John O'Brennan. I know you called me. I'm just announcing my name like I usually do. 
What, what was that? No, I don't want to work with James Clapper. I don't care what he... Steel dossier didn't work? I know that. The PP thing didn't work. Clapper has another idea. It, do me a favor. Don't, don't let me... Don't bring up his name anymore. He's always riding my you-know-what. I spy on the Senate. He spies on the American people. He's always trying to one-up me. Again, don't bring up Clapper. He's about as useless as a uh, burlap dildo. I don't... What? Hillary wants to do what? A poo-poo dossier? To follow up the PP dossier? Whose poo-poo are we using? Oh, no. This is even beyond her. You mean from her depends? There's only one person for the job. Call up Wasserman. Debbie Wasserman. <laughs> By the way, Sally. Sally Yates. I've always had feelings for you. I know. Okay. I won't bring it up. I... I... Uh, no. Uh, Weinstein? No. I'm not... I'm nothing like him. Have a nice day. I'm fine. My cholesterol is fine. Yes, I wanted more of an amorous relationship, but it's not... Yes, no problem. I'm doing great. Okay. Bye-bye. Call me... Call me back. Don't bring up Clapper's name again. So this is... That's probably... <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what takes place with John O'Brudden. John O'Brudden is a CIA man. You know, uh, Yale just uh, gave Hillary Clinton their honorary um, proletariat um, Legion of Honor Doom Skull Crossbones Award for the greatest woman of all time who everyone on the planet hates award. They, can you believe Hillary's still out there? She's like, oh, look, Yale gave me an award. The Democratic Party is too stupid to realize that they, they keep on trotting out. Well, Clinton is like, will never go away, and she is the Democratic Party, but they don't realize that she'll never go away. Now you have this issue where Trump's like, I'm going, to inter I'm going to review all the classified documents with really angry young Republicans who have a lot of like energy, enthusiasm. Their testosterone levels are like a little bit higher than Jeff Sessions. You know, Jeff Sessions. Jeff Sessions, that's, that's one. I can do another one with, with Jeff Sessions calling, like the president calls Jeff Sessions. He's like, hello, Mr. President. How are you? How are you today? Good. There's no need to. There is no need to uh, raise your voice. Okay. Yes. Okay. I didn't say, I did not say anything. No, no. Well, you, you, you tell Scaramucci. I'm going to call him and set him straight. I did. I love your hair. I had no. I have no idea. It was that Jew boy Rosenstein and the other Jew boy Horowitz. I told them to indict Clinton three months ago. Well, Mr. President, I don't know what they're doing. It might be Chonica or Honica. I, yeah, I don't... What? Well, you can go ahead and review everything, and I'll pretend that you hate me. And everyone else will pretend that I don't know what I'm doing. And right before the midterms, we'll go ahead and indict Clinton. Or maybe after. I don't know. Well, you, you tell me. You let me know. Okay. You have a great day now. All right. I, no, I, sir, I did not. I never said one word. I. It looks completely natural. Okay. Okay, you have a great day now. 
Okay, this is GF sessions. So that's probably <laughs> what, what, what went down with sessions and Trump. It's all crashing. All of this is crashing down. And Comey is, look, look at the cast of characters. Look at the cast of characters, okay? With Trump, you have Manafort and Rick Gates. Well, actually, you don't. You have, like, if people want to associate them, you have Manafort and Rick Gates who are indicted. You have Papadopoulos. Nobody really knows anything about these people. They just went ahead and, you know, you have Michael Flynn. Is in, General Flynn is an honorable man. Okay. So he was Obama's defense intelligence uh, DIA chief. Okay. You have issue, you have this, um, you have a cast of characters around Mueller. And I always do the like, you know, Mueller is like, da, 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 da. Like Mueller is like, you know, they think, he thinks he's like this here superhero because he has Esquire and all of them. It, if he didn't do what they wanted, if he wasn't like a life preserver for some credibility that they've created in their own mind, they'd go after him too. But he's indicted nobody for Russian hacking, which never took place. He's indicted nobody for actual collusion within the Trump campaign with Russia. He has no... Um, legal basis for obstruction of justice. Whenever you see people like, no offense to like, you know, CNN analysts, legal scholars, they're like, this is obstruction. Well, why would it be obstruction? Why would it be obstruction if James Comey couldn't find and use the Steele dossier, which BuzzFeed is suing the DNC to corroborate? Why would that be obstruction? Because he was just about to find. He was just about to find. Information that Trump worked with Russia? It's stupid. The only person who worked with Russia was Hillary Clinton. The Trump Jr. meeting, Natalia Veselinskaya met before and after with Fusion GPS. And Natalia Veselinskaya, the Russian lawyer, was allowed into the country by President Obama and Loretta Lynch, who met with Bill Clinton on a plane to speak about golf, Brexit, and grandchildren. Look. You have a situation here where the Washington Post, the New York Times, MSNBC, CNN, Esquire, um, the New York, what was it, um, the Daily Beast, all of them, Vanity Fair. I mean, you, you can go on, the list, you, list is endless. Uh, you know, you can go on with the endless number of pundits and publications who view Trump to be this ogre and who view Democrats and then every late night talk show host. But who was outed? Harvey Weinstein, Eric Schneiderman. Can you believe this guy? This is a profanity alert for my 23 minute crowd. This is a profanity alert. Okay. You have to be a real, not speaking about anyone in particular. I'm not speaking about anybody in particular. Channeling my Jeff Sessions voice. Eric, you, I'm not speaking about anyone in particular. But you have to be a real asshole. You have to be a real asshole to blame role-playing <laughs> for beating up women. While at the same time, going to the Women's March. Oh, look, what do we have here? NYPD has reached out to Schneiderman's alleged victims. Interesting. That's bizarre. This is the same guy, by the way, who will tell you that you can't enjoy your Second Amendment um, freedoms. The same guy who gets dressed up as, like, Attila the Hun and beats up women that he has sexual relations with. This is the guy who's like, who's like, you can't go ahead and you can't utilize that uh, firearm. We're going to go ahead and infringe upon your rights. But I'm going to dress up as uh, Hercules or Samson 
and, and, and beat up Delilah. That's the world we're living in. That's the world we're living in. We're living in a world where Democrats don't know the meaning of hypocrisy. They don't even know what that is. To them, it's just whoever can get away with the most nonsense and mayhem and chaos. If you can get away with the most nonsense, the most hypocrisy, then, um, then they're okay with that. They're not, they're, it's not a political party that stands on a value system. It's a political party that says, well, you know, others are worse. We're just marginally better, so vote for us. They're not going to win the House. Guess what happens if they don't win the House? If they don't win the House, they're going to limp into, they're going to just crawl to the finish line. And in 2020, they'll get demolished by Trump. And all the people, Harvey Weinstein, exposed. Eric Schneiderman, exposed. Uh, Matt Lauer, exposed. Charlie Rose, uh, Al Fishlips Franklin, Franken, exposed. Five people, five pretty well-known, pretty influential people. All exposed. I'm missing a whole bunch of people. I thought Trump was the misogynist. I thought Trump was sexist. But he's not. He's not. His family loves him. Uh, there was a beauty contestant who was dying, God bless her, and she, she says that he was very he was he was wonderful with her. She went out of her way to say, Look, this this man was really kind to me when I was uh, even before she was not doing well. The fake and phony feminists, the male feminists, who are like, oh, I love women. And then behind the scenes, are like, bah, bah, bah. you know, I'm John Wayne. I'm, uh, you know, Caesar. And they're pretending they're like, you know, some, you know, tyrant in the bedroom. Like, oh, I don't know. The New York Attorney General, Mr. I love women, Mr. I'm like, you know, against guns and you know you know do as i say but not as i do because i beat up people allegedly the biggest hypocrites on they don't even know what hypocrisy is so it's not like you can there's it's not like you can shame them or embarrass them because their mentality and the gun debate is exactly limit the guns there'll be limited violence and only give guns to to the security of actors and actresses and uh, the protection for the president and anyone who wants to be protected, but not the average American citizen. Because, you know, you know, gun violence will be reduced. There won't be knife violence like in London. Or if there's a handgun ban, you won't have cities throughout the country that have, you know, oh, I don't know, tremendous handgun violence. Gee, how does that happen? Maybe criminals don't follow the law. Ever thought of that? And then, like, you know, I get hit pieces. I've had hit pieces written on me, like eight hit pieces, because when you when you go against the groupthink, it's like, you know, now, now there are people who are literally like, oh, Russia, let's just let's see it out. And you know what they do? I can't tell you how many people. I can't tell you how many people. Um... Have told me, well, you know, well, you know, we have to let the investigation go on. And I'm like, well, you, the Russia probe is nonsense. Actually, Trump just demanded the DOJ find out if there were any people within Obama's administration. John O'Brien, James Comey, um, James Clapper. Ugh, I can't do his imitation. N unwittingly, uh, not to not to my knowledge, if there was, if there was, uh, I, I almost there. I'm not. Believe me, I'm not. You know, I can't do impressions, but it's just fun to do. These people are the uh, hilarious. They're all hilarious. But what's what's taking place now is. Um, what's taking place now is that you're going to find out 
there was an elaborate plot to take down Trump because the propaganda went from Hillary is the best candidate of all time to, oh my God, she's losing. Oh my God, she lost. Peter Strzok talked about an insurance policy. That actually is all you need to know. When Peter Strzok goes ahead and speaks about an insurance policy, that's really all you need to know. That's really all you need to know. The insurance policy the insurance policy that Peter Strzok spoke about, that he wrote with his own hands, to Lisa Page, the counterintelligence officer, the number two counterintelligence officer. When that when you have a number two of the FBI counterintelligence officer writing text messages saying, oh, by the way, um, we can't take the risk of Trump becoming president. So let's go ahead and make sure that, um, let's go ahead and make sure that he, that we engage in an insurance policy that we speak about, that we spoke about in Andrew McCabe's office. Then you have Andrew McCabe, who took $700,000 from Terry McAuliffe, who lied four times, who is, t who is reported to have told uh, the FBI to stand down in t it, regarding the Clinton Foundation investigations. I mean, all of these things, you know, it's like, it's just unbelievable. The amount of... The Steele dossier is gossip. The Steele dossier is gossip. A dr the drunken conversation from Alexander Downer is just, that's what it, what it is. Papadopoulos, there's no evidence that he, 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 how do you know he didn't make up what he said to Papadopoulos? Just, uh, Professor Mifsud is nowhere to be found, but he has ties to British intelligence. Stefan Halper, the FBI mole, has ties uh, to uh, Reagan infiltrating uh, Carter's campaign in, in, 2000, in uh, 1980. So all of this is a bunch of nonsense. Anyway, give me a give me your thoughts below. I'm like in. I, I just it's 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 mind boggling. But I'll leave you the article. DOJ Trump reach a deal on expanded Russia review. So, it's happening, everybody. This is all going to lead, by the way, to Clinton indictments. And guess what? When she gets indicted, see, that's the thing. Like, people, I've always kept it there and said, oh, Clinton indictments, and left it there. Like, left it right there. It's not going, that's not what's, Clinton is going to run for president as, as she's fighting the indictments. And guess what? They will vote for her. When the Russia nonsense came about, I thought that it was so absurd that nobody would believe it. Then I had really smart people like, yeah, he worked with Russia, you know. And I was like, wait, have you read the intelligence reports? They're, they're, they're moderately the highly confident. It's all a bunch of nonsense. Um, the, the window, what was it called? The Overton window or the... Um, what would de what would be deemed insane in years past is now acceptable. The Overton window, also known as the window of discourse, is the range of ideas tolerated in public discourse. Years before 2016, even two years before, the notion that Russia could inf interfere in the election is would just be absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous now it's oh yeah they did but how did they it's the the electoral college alone prevents any foreign power from rigging the election or from swaying the notion that facebook ads or twitter bots that's ridiculous because then you'd have to factor in oh i don't know the 1.2 billion dollars the two to one spending there's no way that um, there's just no way that the narrative works, especially when you see now that Trump has been completely um, well. Now that you see that Trump was set up and framed, just like General Michael Flynn.
Give me your thoughts below. Share this segment everywhere. The DOJ and Trump and leading Republicans are going to review classified documents. Go ahead. Also, 357 Smith & Wesson Magnum Revolver, 50 rounds. You can watch me shoot 50 rounds of a 357, a beautiful, beautiful handgun. Uh, that is below in the pinned comment. That's my latest HA YouTube, HA Second Amendment seg segment on YouTube. Thank you so much for listening. Subscribe right now to this channel. The DOJ has allowed Trump not only to utilize the Inspector General, because yesterday it was the IG was going to go ahead and, you know, uh, look into this. Now he's going to review documents, and that's fantastic. Give me your thoughts. Thank you so much for listening.